what's up it's me again and if i'm being completely honest i almost didn't make it today i mean i'm learning a lot about myself through this journey and one thing i'm learning is that what really galvanizes and motivates me is getting up every day and leaving the house and going into the city and just looking at things and seeing the world from a different perspective which allows me to create and come up with these ideas to talk to you guys about but then when i don't do that on the weekends it's harder for me to create right and that's something that i'm seeing so earlier today i went down to the uh to like our local park uh shot a little video there real quick but it just i don't know it just didn't feel right so i told myself like oh i'm just gonna go out again and shoot another video outside and make it right or maybe i'll go over here to the green screen and do something over there but it never happened you know um it was just one of them days to where it was tough creating and my mind had a bunch of excuses why I shouldn't do it. But a lucky thing happened. I decided to take a break and consume some more, but for me when I consume stuff, it's usually like things that I'm interested in. And shout out to Arlo who told me to check out The Defiant Ones because he wanted me to do a review on it, right? So I checked out the first two episodes yesterday and then finished the other two up today. <laughs> and that and that put like fuel right back in the tank and got me right back motivated. Um, I definitely want to talk about the message that the documentary put out, right? And it's a message that's kind of funny. It's just been following me around like every day. Like I feel like for most of my life, like I've always felt like I was a creative person, but I've always kind of not done it either because I ran with the crowd or I just made excuses and procrastinated and was super lazy about it or didn't get the results I wanted initially and I just quit at doing it you know honestly that's what happened to me a lot of times but I just keep seeing the same message of consistency and perseverance and going 100 percent you know come back to me and then it's a funny story like it seems like the more I start to create the more the universe opens up to me and allows me to see things from a different angle so I told a story yesterday um, not on a video but on a little on anchor where I'm doing a bunch a little uh, micro stories for a podcast there about how you know i'm starting to see beauty in a different way and i feel like that's because i've just been creating every day so yesterday i saw a beautiful woman and i saw her com in a completely different light than i normally would have in the past when i was thinking with my adolescent mind i think when i was younger if i seen a beautiful woman my first thing my thought first thought was man she's very attractive i'd like to sleep with her right but i think as i've evolved and got into a great relationship and had my son and also started to create every day, I see things differently. So <laughs> it was funny to me when I seen her and I thought to myself like, hey, I'll, she has a strong jawline so I can literally see different ways I can pose her, you know, pointing at horizon and, horizons and using leading lines and different things like that and kind of playing with angle and perspective with her, with her futures. That's what I was thinking as opposed to the primitive adolescent stuff, you know? And things just keep happening that I feel like is the universe just opening itself up to me. Like the location I was at yesterday, the way that I found that is honestly just by wandering around the city. So got off the bus at a random place where I never get off at. And I was up before the sun came up and already in the city. So I need to find a place to head light, right? So I'm just wandering around, um, going through back alleys and stuff. And then I'm like, oh, you know, I'll go over here to this well-lit location and check it out. You know, end up set up, set my camera up, record a video. Feel like I, it was great light. Got it when the sun was just coming up. I uh, feel like it was one of my best locations yet. And fast forward to being back at work and talking to one of my coworkers about that story I just told you about the way I see beauty differently. Um, he ends up telling me that, hey, maybe you should go to the Jeffrey Smart building on one of the university's campuses nearby, right? He's like, you know, it's a great place there. It's a place to go and think. It's overlooking the city, so it's a place you'll love. So I ended up pulling up Google Maps after work, making my way back over to there. And I'm like, yo, this is exactly the place I was at in the morning. Like literally before I filmed, I sat down right in front of that building. It was about to film there, but it was better light in the street. So I actually went out and filmed right next to the street there. But it's crazy. I feel like that's the law of attraction by me creating every day, no matter what, like even today, coming back around to doing it and actually putting out content to you guys. And I just feel like that's the law of attraction, bringing things back full circle to me. Like, who knows? A random conversation with just one of my coworkers led me back to a place I'd already been filming in the morning. And then when I got there and made my way to the fifth floor just because he said it had a vending machine and things like that in it, so I can get some snacks and stuff while I worked and edited, um, I looked out the window 
and there's a piece of art down there. Like literally, I went to where the, where the vending machine was, looked straight down out the window, and there was a painting there that I've been looking for for about a month now by an artist called Van Zyl Mega um, that I just couldn't find. Like I found a few of his other works around the city, but I couldn't find this one, and I kind of forgot about it. And once again, just by following my muse and trying to be creative, like everything told me, even though, but everything told me yesterday to go home after work, just go home. You know, you've been at work all day, but I, I didn't, I fought it. And I went out and filmed some more B-roll and stuff and then made my way to that building and boom, there was a piece of art. So that's two or three different things that happened to me just from the power of creativity and staying consistent. But I'm definitely gonna share some more stories about my life coming up and I'm gonna talk about the defiant ones as well and talk about the story behind it. But I thought I'd take the time tonight to just talk about the power of creativity and just share that quick story of how everything kind of is starting to come full circle the more I'm focused on creating. And, and that's just more confirmation on why I shouldn't stop doing it. And hopefully that might motivate you guys to get up and actually start doing it too and see what things can happen for you.